Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to migrate your laptop hard drive to a solid state drive SSD. This same process applies for any of the latest versions of Windows. Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1 and Windows 10. This particular laptop has Windows 10 installed. For this tutorial, I'll be using a USB to a 2.5 serial ATA cable. All necessary links are in my website in the description box below. The process you're going to see is the exact same process I take with all my clients' laptop hard drive migrations. This will not lose any data and it will copy all your emails, files, documents, pictures, etc. Okay, I got my USB to serial ATA cable here and my SSD drive. Now I'll plug in the SSD drive to the cable and then the cable, the USB, to the computer. Now I'll remote access the laptop for better video quality. Once the SSD is plugged into the laptop via USB, right click this PC, Manage, and here select Disk Management to make sure that the disk is properly detected and that is initialized. If it's not, it will prompt you. Just click on Yes to initialize the disk. It's going to show like this on a located drive. Now I'll be cloning my C drive here. Notice that the C drive is 676 gigs and I'll be cloning to my 223. But the important thing here is that the use space on the C drive is smaller than the destination disk. If I right click C drive properties, notice here that the used space is 100 gigs, which is perfect for my SSD, which is 223 gigs. Though it's a lot for my SSD, but it's perfect. Now close here, close computer management, and for this tutorial I'll be using the, tu the same program I used on all my previous videos, which is Paragon Migrate OS to SSD 4.0. This is not free, again the link is in my website in the description box below. I'd rather pay because I don't want any unwanted software or, or malware installed on my PC from downloading a free cloning program. Now once downloaded, go ahead and run it click yes to the UAC next to the wizard and this wizard will detect your hard drive and the destination drive automatically you don't have to even select it as you can see it detected my Microsoft Windows 10 64-bit edition on my C drive formatted NTFS with a 676 gigabyte 100 gigabyte used perfect and it's gonna be cloned onto my uh, Seagate USB because we connected that SSD via USB to 123.5 gigs. Now if you don't want all the folders to be cloned just click on please select what folders should be copied and then uncheck whatever you don't want to migrate to the SSD. Here check mark use all of the little space for the partition with OS. If not it'll create partition on your SSD. If you don't know what I'm talking about just make sure you check mark and click on copy to start migrating your entire operating system files documents pictures etc to the SSD this process can take a long time depending on how much information you have to migrate now here it once done it'll give you a brief tutorial on how to go about but what we're gonna do is remove the regular hard drive and replace it with the SSD so I'm gonna close here and shut down the system or the laptop. I'm going to go back to the laptop here and turn it off. Once it's completely off, we can remove all the peripherals, uh, SSD, mouse, power, everything. Flip it and then remove and replace the, uh, the hard drive. Now this process is different on depending on which laptop you're using. Something that I want to mention is that on older laptops the SSD drive might not be detected. You will need to update the BIOS and even updating the BIOS might not fix the problem. On newer laptops it might cause the laptop to freeze. You will need to go into the BIOS and change uh, to AHCI instead of IDE but that doesn't mean it's going to completely fix the freezing problems. 
there's a lot of problems going on with laptop freezing after an SSD upgrade. I would recommend before upgrading to an SSD to do some research. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the uh, uh, installation of the drive. Almost done. The process of replacing the hard drive, in this particular case, this is an HP, is relatively easy because the back plate didn't have any screws. In other laptops, might be a bit complex. Don't forget to remove the battery before working on the laptop. Okay, now I'll put everything back, power the laptop on, and it should be exactly the same as it was before, but better performance because now I have an SSD. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you. If you want to be up to date with more video tutorials like this, please subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you.